Presentation decks are so important. I create at least one to two presentation decks every single week. The reason being, they're amazing for VSLs, for sales decks, for webinar slides, for presentations, for pitches to sponsors. And I use them with Loom a lot. So this is my Loom account. I filmed 658 videos in probably about a year and a half. And a lot of these are presentation decks. So you can see here, I filmed this just 13 days ago. It's only a 15 second thing, but this is in pitch. And this is one of the presentation software that I'm going to be talking about today. The downside to presentation decks are that they can take a while for you to create that presentation, right? Traditionally, a presentation deck with let's say 10 slides would probably take anywhere from one to three hours. Over the last couple of years, there's been a lot of new presentation software that has popped up on the market that is significantly better than the traditional Apple Keynote and the traditional Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. And that's what I'm gonna go through in this video. And spoiler, Gamma.app can create a presentation deck using AI in literally minutes. So stick around for that. So this is PowerPoint presentation. I probably use PowerPoint presentation for the last 10, 15 years until I found a few other software that was significantly better. I mean, you probably don't need me to introduce you to it. You've probably been using it for a while. I remember PowerPoint presentation was used in all schools everywhere. And there are a lot of strengths to using PowerPoint. Firstly, if your team are using PowerPoint, then it's great for collaboration. And in the corporate environment, a lot of companies still do use PowerPoint. It's super easy to use. I do quite a few speaking gigs around the world and they almost always ask you to deliver your deck in a PowerPoint presentation format. Not in a pitch format, not in an Apple Keynote format, not in a Gamma format, but in PowerPoint presentation. The reason for that is to really minimize the number of technical issues that can come up. And obviously, if you already have your presentation in a PowerPoint document, then you don't need to convert it. But the main reason why I don't like using PowerPoint today is there's two reasons. Firstly, it doesn't really utilize AI as much as it could do in terms of creating and generating new presentation decks and new slides. That's the first thing. So it's still very time consuming to create a presentation deck. And the second thing is, it's very difficult to make a PowerPoint presentation look aesthetic. I mean, here's a very kind of typical PowerPoint slide deck and it's just very basic. I mean, it, I don't know, it's just missing something. It's just missing the aesthetic appeal that a lot of other presentation software can use. And this is not that difficult to do anymore with other presentation software, for example, Gamma. It's very easy to create very aesthetic presentation decks, presentation slides. And I'll show you some examples a little bit later on. Really, you compare this presentation deck with some of the presentation decks that I'm going to show you later on. It's just night and day. It wasn't that long ago that I stumbled across Gamma. Now, you can see here, Gamma is a presentation deck software, but it heavily utilizes AI to actually kickstart or create the foundations of your presentation deck. And I'll show you a little bit later on how, how exactly how that works. So you can see here, create unlimited presentations, websites and more in seconds, meet your AI powered design partner, build and share dynamic content effortlessly, restyle existing content with a click. With AI, we don't need to be a professional designer to create really well designed presentation decks. Not now that we have software like Gamma that utilizes AI to create these decks. About a week ago, one of my friends, Zach, who is the CEO of Creator Copilot, and Creator Copilot, they create AI tools and resources for creators. And he sent me over a PDF and I was like, hmm, this looks familiar. I clicked over onto the PDF and it was, and I asked him, created using Gamma, which is kind of funny that I'm making this video and about a week ago, um, he sent me this. And what I really like about Gamma in this presentation style setup is when you're presenting it, firstly, you have have these small bars here so you can see how far along you are in the presentation but also there's some quite nice animations and you can see here me <laughs> and you can see me here right in the middle at the top but you can see how these animations just make the whole experience the whole aesthetic so much nicer than a very kind of static presentation deck 
And I know a lot of people in the startup scene are using Gamma because, like I say, it's just so efficient to create a presentation deck. So I'll now show you how easy it is to create a presentation deck just like this. So I click create new presentation. I'm given three options. You've got paste in text, which as it states, I can add the notes, outline or content I'd like to use, or I can generate. So create a one line prompt in a few seconds, or I can import a file or URL. So this can be a presentation slide. It can be a PDF. I can import it from Google Docs. It really does give you a lot of options, but the method that I'm gonna use is the most popular is generate. And I'm gonna create a prompt. It even gives you some example prompts like create portfolio for how to design user interfaces for mobile application, monsters of the deep oceans. What I'm going to do is ask it to create a presentation deck on how to grow a YouTube channel fast. And let's say I want it to be eight cards, obviously I can make it less or more and generate outline. So three steps to grow YouTube channel fast. Step one, optimize your channel. Step two, produce high quality content. And step three, leverage YouTube's algorithm. And if you guys didn't know, I have a company that helps founders and agencies grow on YouTube. So this is quite relevant to me. I go down, I can make the amount of text per card brief, medium or detailed. Now I personally very much dislike a lot of text on a presentation slide. So I'm gonna make brief here. So I can choose where the images come from. I can have them AI images. I can take them from the web or it can be automatic where it chooses whether I get the images from web or creates from AI. So I'm gonna go automatic here and then I'm going to go continue. Then I can generate a theme. So I just showed you my website here and you can see the theme is like a bluey, purpley color. So I want to choose something similar to that. I'm gonna choose this nebula here. And this is very similar to this. So I think it fits really nicely. And then I click generate and it will create the presentation deck right in front of me within just one or two minutes. And what I really like about this is that often when creating a presentation deck, it can feel like a very overwhelming or time consuming task because often it takes usually one to two to three hours to actually create a presentation deck. And so I know for me, it's very easy to procrastinate on these kind of tasks, but with software like Gamma, it already made the presentation deck for me. Now, obviously it would be best if I spend five minutes or so just going through this and making some tweaks here and there just to kind of personalize it. So for example, this image here, I like, if possible, having my own images that I've taken as opposed to stock footage. It just makes the presentation deck that, that, that a little bit more personal. So I'll go over here, I'll pick one of the images that I have on file and literally drag and drop and it resizes it for me. And this looks a lot better than the stock image that was before this. And I can do this for all the images. I can keep some of the images if I like. And I might spend five minutes kind of tweaking everything here and there, or I might spend 30 minutes if I really care about every single detail. And it really depends on the task. For example, if I'm speaking on stage in front of hundreds or thousands of people, then I would make sure that I tweak everything to make it absolutely perfect. However, if, if this presentation deck is just for a sales prospect that I'm sending a, a pitch deck to over email, then I might just spend five minutes, maybe 10 minutes tweaking things here and there. And let's say I don't like the theme. I really do like this theme, but let's say I want to change it. Then I can go to themes and in real time, let's say I want to make it a little bit brighter. Let's say this is too dark, then it will change the theme for me. Then I hit present. And what I really like about this is the animations are already done for me. So I click here. It's just so smooth. And once I'm happy with the presentation deck, then I can export it. So I can export it in either PDF, in PowerPoint or PNGs. Exporting in PowerPoint is what I usually do because if I am presenting this deck on stage, the organizers of the conference is almost always want PowerPoint because it reduces the amount of technical issues they may have. So all the speakers are usually asked to send over the files in a PowerPoint format. So next is pitch and I have a love hate relationship with pitch. I used to love it and I still do, but there's just one or two quite big issues that I have with it, which I'll explain a little bit later on. So I don't 
use pitch these days, but at the same time, it still is quite good. So this is a presentation deck that I created at the beginning of this month. And it's not too bad, it's about how we help YouTube channels grow. So firstly, I'll go over why I like Pitch. The main reason is this thing is very simple to use. I don't really, or didn't really use the AI features here. I just feel the AI features in terms of generating the actual presentation are not as good as Gamma. And so they kind of created more problems than they were worth. So I just tended to, when I do start a pitch deck, I just create it from scratch, which is more time consuming. And also it doesn't have the animations that Gamma has. So if I go to play, you know, everything is a little bit more static, a little bit similar to Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, and everything is drag and drop. It's very easy to use. For example, if I want to change the text, I just go to, the, to design. What I actually really like about this is that I can round the corners of images very easily. So if you look at anything UI design, even this Chrome tab, right? You don't have harsh 90 degree corners here. You have like rounded corners, you have rounded corners. Even this UI, you have rounded corners. Even if you go to YouTube, you look at the thumbnails and they're all rounded corners. It's really easy to do that. I literally just go to rounded corners, I put it as 15% and I sometimes add a bit of a shadow here just to make it look a little bit more 3D. So I really like that. The downside is that I had a problem where I wanted to change my email in pitch and I couldn't do it. And you can see here, I filmed the loom to the customer support to kind of explain to them um, rather than just typing because it took me 1 minute 26 seconds to film this loom, but it would have taken me a long time to explain it by typing. And then they said that I can, there's, there's a, but there's a workaround, which is fine. However, and this is not the first time this has happened, I said, thank you so much, it fixed the issue. However, I now have a new, more serious issue in that I've lost some of my pitch decks. And I say I've lost them, they may be hidden somewhere. And this was so frustrating because it takes a long time to create these presentation decks because I build them from scratch. It's not like Gamma where they're using AI to create the decks, but I kept losing them about once every four or five months, I, they just disappeared. And to this day, I still don't know where they are or what happened to them, whether I'm accidentally deleting them, but then they're not in the recycle bin. So it's like, did I actually delete them or are they just hidden somewhere? But I looked everywhere and I couldn't find them. So that's why I stopped using Pitch. It is good, but there's just a few bugs here and there that I didn't love. So out of these three presentation makers, if you like, it's definitely Gamma that I would recommend, followed by Pitch, followed by Microsoft PowerPoint presentation all the way down at the bottom. I think that these new companies that are coming up and they're just doing things a lot better than the big massive corporate companies like Microsoft. And if you do want to check out Gamma for free, you can go to gamma.app or just Google Gamma presentations and it will be the first result. I really do recommend Gamma. So you can check it out and I hope you like it just as much as I do.